So I wasn't gonna make a video about this, but things have changed. If you're unaware, the infamous user that goes by the name of Jared Valdez 4 is not a fan of me. He's suing Roblox and I'm a part of it somehow. But first, let me tell you how we got to this point. So if you're unaware who Jared Valdez 4 is, he's a Roblox user best known for plagiarizing games and selling scam items. That's what it says. These are a list of all the plagiarized games. He is best well known for plagiarizing Zombie Outbreak. That was like the most popular one. And also Town of Robloxia too. So yeah, a bunch of these games were just stolen. And he's had a lot of Roblox accounts terminated for various reasons. One of the reasons why he was banned is because he tried to make a website called Faceblocks, which is Facebook and Roblox basically put together. They threatened to sue him after that. <laughs> also, another reason why he was banned is because he was selling and buying limited items for real life currency. So I got terminated for buying and selling virtual items for Roblox currency, United States dollars, USD. And yes, I said it, I was making money from Roblox. Which is not allowed. But yeah, I'm telling you this because I made a video about him like two years ago and he did not like it. Among the millions of Roblox users- Oh my users, God. So almost two years ago, I made a video called the most hated Roblox player ever. And I did mention Jared in this video, but the video was not just about Jared. It was about people throughout the whole Roblox community who are not well liked. Let's just say that. By the way, look how emo I look in this video. Anyways, besides that, so I talk about Jared for about two minutes throughout this whole segment. And yeah, basically within this video, I just said what I said to you guys before. Um, he stole games and I'm literally looking at the wiki in the video. And I did look at his YouTube channel when I made this video. Apparently he made a video about Flamingo and he was reacting to it. And I did poke fun at him a little bit. Nothing too serious. It was just a little haha -ha moment. I don't know why he's reacting like that. Okay guys, this is how I'm gonna do reaction videos. I'm gonna put the video right behind me oh that's so funny Jared. yeah so yeah but yeah he so yeah i just kind of poked fun at him a little bit nothing too serious um it was all lighthearted. but yeah apparently jared saw this and he was not happy that i mentioned him in a video and he made a response to this i just want to point out how long his videos are before we look at mine 25 21 8 and then the video that he made about me 40 minutes i talked about him for two minutes and he made a 40 minute response i don't think he talks about me for the whole 40 minutes but still pretty wild response to sari berry dude was notorious for stealing like the most popular games of roblox he's also just copied a lot of groups and just done a lot of scummy stuff in general so yeah a lot and you know she's saying i've done a lot of scummy stuff in general I, I've taken ownership. I've apologized. I made videos crying about this. Like this is. He's taking ownership. He's basically reacting to the part where I'm reading off from his wiki that says he was terminated after he purchased Lifetime OBC with his mother's credit card and he got deleted. And she's saying I stole my mom's credit card right here. Yeah, because it it says it in the wiki. Did I steal my mom's credit card? Yes, I stole my mom's <laughs> credit card. Yeah. So this is the part of the video where he's reacting to me, like kind of like poking fun of his like setup a little bit. Nothing serious. And um, this was his response to it. But the fact that she's making fun of me, like girl, go touch up your hair. <laughs> go get some conditioner because your hair looks janky as <laughs> Your hair looks janky. Your teeth need, you need to get that gap fixed. Go oh, see shit. a dentist. Hey, look at that. I got braces. That's what you need to do. Go see a dentist. Go get that gap fixed and then come talk to me. Oh. Does it look like I'm talking with a gap in my tooth? Am I talking with a gap? You're not talking with a gap in your tooth. You're right. But you're talking with your nostrils flared out. My tooth? And you have the audacity to come over here and talk about me the way I'm making my videos? Go get he's, he's really mad. So he just kind of like made fun of my teeth for a little bit. He was just really, really upset about that. Um, I don't know why that made him so mad. I don't know how many times he has to talk about my gap tooth. <laughs> feeling the flames that's exactly what you're doing with your gap in your tooth i guess what i have to say to that is well i can fix my teeth but you can't fix your nasty attitude and now i got braces and i feel so cute in them guys this is how i'm gonna do reaction videos i'm gonna put the video right behind me oh that's so funny oh wow <laughs> look she's mocking me she has audacity to mock me i don't know if she's just doing this to be funny she probably is good for you you're making it funny like i admit it was funny like he just admitted that i made it funny but all right anyways yeah there's that
All right, so in the process of making this video, Flamingo uploaded a video called I'm Suing Roblox, and he goes over me and Jared's beef, I guess you could say. So I thought I would react to it to get an outsider's perspective. You know, I wanted to research their beef a little bit since Sari Barry was uh, incorrectly named, uh, but named nonetheless <laughs> in the- I love that he couldn't correct my name. So I saw this video. Of course, Jared is like number one on the list. I don't know why he's reacting like that. Yeah, why is he reacting? Why is he looking back at the, uh, <laughs> I've never seen this before. I also, I'm so sorry about how I'm reacting. There's so many things on the screen. I'm reacting to Flamingo, reacting to Jared, who's reacting to me, who's reacting to Jared. So there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Acted this way because I didn't have a setup. All right, that's fine. I get what she's saying. That okay, you get what she's saying. Yeah. Don't worry, we understand. It was just a joke. Just but the a fact joke. that she's making fun of me, like, oh. Oh. girl, go touch up your hair. Go get some <laughs> conditioner because your hair looks janky as fuck. What are you, what? Your teeth, need, you need to get that gap what, fixed. What prompted this? Go get that gap fixed. Jared, I'm trying to support you here. <laughs> what? I, I don't think I can support uh, Jared's lawsuit after. <laughs> that is, that's such an insane reaction to, she asked you, <laughs> Why you're looking at the <laughs> at the monitor to react. Yeah. Where did that come from? I anonymously donated five dollars to this GoFundMe and I want to uh I want to re re refund me. I I want a refund. You could just give me five dollars to make up for it. Does it look like I'm talking with a gap in my tooth? What are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're not, but dude, we can see directly up your. Why is your camera angle like? I feel like you didn't need to bring up anything of that nature. I feel like that was kind of insane. Yeah. Am I wrong? Is that an insane reaction to? No, that was a perfectly normal reaction. Becoming a better person. You are becoming a better person. The clown on me. I don't care. Go get your I like I said. You. Go get your gap fixed. Then then. <laughs> <laughs> then you go back to raging. Why? That's great. But yeah, I just wanted to include that little bit. But yeah, this was posted like in the same timeline as the other video that I posted. I just kind of ignored it because I didn't find a point to responding to it. And I thought that was the end of it. But there's more. Keep in mind, this was posted in 2022. So it's been, it's coming up on two years ago. He made this response to me and he tweeted this out in May. It's so weird that people started recognizing me in public from TikTok because some stupid shh wanted to keep making videos about me when I played Roblox as a kid. I'll sue you for everything you got for slandering me. Okay. And then he made a follow-up tweet saying, yes, using my name is considered slander and harassment. So you can't say his name because that's slander and harassment. Anybody slandering me like this ugly toad. <laughs> I guess I'm an ugly toad. Sari Barrier. I love that he can't spell my name right. Has an ugly soul. I pray that God helps her heal that hateful spirit she has. Hateful? I'm hateful because I just read facts about you on your wiki. But apparently he's suing Roblox now. He tweeted out, this is a formal notice to David Bazuki. First of all, a tweet is not formal. I think a tweet is the least formal thing that you can do. I think a formal thing would maybe be sending in a letter to Roblox or I don't know. I don't know what you could do, but a tweet is not formal. I was 12 years old when I was on Roblox and was banned. Those accounts are worth well over millions of dollars. I demand Jared Vandell's 4 be unbanned or legal action will ensue. This got a lot of traction on Twitter actually. A lot of people are actually supporting Jared suing Roblox. He did a follow-up tweet. This notice serves to address the issue of my Roblox account, which were banned when I was 12 years old. These accounts are valued at over millions of dollars. But yeah, a lot of people in the replies were basically just like supporting him. So after this whole tweet, he decided, hey, people are supporting me. So I'm gonna make a GoFundMe. He said, over a quarter of million people saw my post about suing Roblox. Did they? Only 179,000. That's kind of off from a quarter of a million people. You need- Okay. In order to have a fighting chance, I need your help by donating to my GoFundMe to fund my legal fees. So yeah, he set up a GoFundMe to sue Roblox. So let's check it out. Stand with Jared. Unban his Roblox account. The goal is 50,000. 50,000. And there's only 46 raised. And you can see that Jared 
donated $10 of it for some reason. Now, where I get tied back into Jared suing Roblox is he included me in his GoFundMe. This lawsuit will include the millions of users that were allowed to harass, bash, and attack Jared over the course of 10 years, making thousands of YouTube videos defaming Jared by the famous YouTubers such as Poke, Sarah Barrier, and hundreds more. Why did he spell my name like that? You would think like making a GoFundMe for $50,000, you would at least spell my name right. Sarah Barrier. Hey guys, it's me, Sarah Barrier. Defaming. I'm not de- I didn't defame him. Let's look up the definition of defame, guys. To damage the reputation of a person or group by saying or writing bad things about them that are not true. What did I say that was a lie? I'm formally calling on Roblox and its CEO, David Bazuki, to rectify this mistake by unbanning my account. If this demand is not met, I am prepared to take legal action to seek justice and restore what was wrongfully taken from me. I don't know who's gonna support this, considering he was kind of banned for a lot of good reasons. After he made this GoFundMe, people's opinions quickly switched because it's like, what are you doing? Why are you asking for that much money for your banned Roblox account? I don't think it's worth that much. So obviously, after the backlash that he faced from this, that people were kind of like trolling him for making a GoFundMe, he responded back to it. All of you are saying that I shouldn't be entitled to the money stored on my various accounts are pathetic. You need a grammar checker before you post these tweets. I took uncopylocked free models and started tweaking the code while expanding the game functionality. I think it's pretty obvious, but I don't think he should be entitled to the money on his accounts. They were banned for probably good reason. He does say most of you don't know the actual events that took place. Are you sure about that? Did I steal my mom's credit card? Yes, I stole my mom's credit card. My followers on Roblox came from games I did take that were uncopylocked. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm admitting to taking uncopylocked games and not giving credit for them. So I got terminated for buying and selling virtual items for Roblox currency, United States dollars, USD. And yes, I said it, I was making money from Roblox. Pretty sure there was other famous people that were doing it and yeah, it was a lot of underground stuff, but I got caught because I was the most well-known one. I made a few thousand dollars and thanks to the little business I had, I guess it was against Roblox policy to do that and they terminated my account. I created an account called jared 2 bobis 4 I then got terminated on this new account because I created a social networking call, site called facebooks.com. The Roblox team started noticing the site more and messaged me to take down all the images that were related to Roblox. And I agreed and took them down, but they ended up terminating my my account anyway because I guess there was a few a few pictures that were from Roblox like characters and items and stuff also, what did Poke do to defame you? I need to see what he did. The most wanted Roblox players. Maybe it's this video from six years ago. Literally, Poke is reacting to someone else's video called Top 15 Most Hated Roblox Users. Time for number one. I am nervous about number one. I cannot lie. Okay, so here we go, guys. Let's see what And the number one, one is Jared, Jared Valdez. Valdez. Four, game copier that can copy, copy locked games. What? All right, guys, we've made it over to a Roblox wiki in the community called Jared Valdez. And look, he's looking at his wiki too. It just seems like Jared doesn't like it when people look at his wiki for some reason. So yeah, what I'm noticing is the pattern is, is me and Poke just read off Jared's wiki and we're defaming him that way, which is insane. Insane claim to make. Okay, breaking news. Jared made a document that serves as a basis for his lawsuit. So I want to look at it. Jared Valdez versus Roblox Corporation. This is insane. There's only a few things I really want to look over about this whole document. I could literally point out everything, but I'm not going to. Blayton's Roblox accounts were permanently banned without sufficient explanation or due process. Roblox does not have to explain to you why you're banned. I was looking at the Roblox terms of service and so about like your banned Roblox account, Roblox may notify you and may provide you with an opportunity to request a view of Roblox decision. May. They might. So basically Roblox does not owe you the right to defend yourself or explain why you got banned. Plaintiff contends that his ban was a result of defamation as Roblox allowed false accusation and public criticism to circulate among millions of users, branding him as a malicious player responsible for exploiting platform loopholes and because of these accusations his reputation was damaged and that's why his accounts were deleted that's what he's saying but i feel like he was exploiting the platform and was taking uncopy locked games i don't really know if that's defamation if he actually did it <laughs> And you guys can read this, but basically what he wants out of this is not less than 7 million USD. 
seven million dollars there's other stuff that he wants too but this is like the main thing seven million dollars oh my god and then at the end it says plaintiff hereby demands a trial by jury on all issues so triable he wants a jury that's crazy that's so much money from the court system but I want to get my concluding thoughts on all of it. Will Jared win the lawsuit? I'm going to say probably not. There's a small chance that he could win and they can like settle for a smaller amount. But considering he's broken a lot of the rules and got some of his accounts banned for rightful reasons, I don't think he has a basis to get that money. I don't think he's going to get what he wants. I think he's going to like waste a lot of money and I don't think it's going to be worth it. And lastly, does Jared have a place in the Roblox community? His time came and went. And while the rest of us moved on, he stayed in the same place for over a decade and hasn't changed so no i don't think he has a place in the roblox community unless he actually changes but i doubt he will well i guess we'll see what happens